What is up, guys? Welcome back to JB Breaks Free, first episode of 2022. Can't believe it. I really can't. Um, today is a Saturday. I have the day off, thankfully. Um, just watched Notre Dame blow a uh, 28-7 lead to Oklahoma State. A little depressed about that. Watched it with my girls. Um, they're huge Notre Dame fans and they scream. And it took everything I had not to have a breakdown in front of them. And I, uh, the, I was thinking the Stoic philosophy could suit me for that game. But I held it together and uh, it was a good sport. and taught them some good sportsmanship as well. Um, other than that, um, I wanted to say that I actually sold something already today for for sale of 2022. This is just vinyl and inner inner sleeve only. It's like an Elvis, as recorded at Madison Square Garden, 1972 LP. I just bought that lot of re uh, Elvis records I told you guys about. That was kind of an oddball in there. Sold for four bucks. Um, I'm fine with that. I will grind out four dollars all day long I don't care and as I will report in tomorrow's episode my uh, yearly income report of all my side hustles flipping was a monster number for me so a uh, little, little little wins add up um, and this episode will be about uh, the December side hustle report which I always love to do before I do that just kind of a quick little recap of last night waiting tables New Year's Eve at my restaurant that I work in um, as I mentioned, we were short staffed. It was so crazy. We had, um, just tons of to goes, tons of people coming in. I don't always say what I make, um, monetarily, but we had a, a major number. It was a good number to end the year on. Um, and it was kind of a short month, December too. I missed three Saturdays, uh, closed for both holidays. And I took one off for my friend's 40th birthday and still had a really good month at the restaurant. Um, what else? Um, I stopped, uh, so then this morning I was thinking like, I was in, um, the shower, I was just kind of chilling and you know, your mind can run in the shower a little bit. I think it even has a tendency more to do so, um, in the shower than just in other places, but I'm, I'm there and it should be the happiest moment, the beginning of four days off, right? And, um, a holiday and we're going to have a great dinner today and chill with some, um, chill with my family, but I'm focusing a negative thought loop of a couple of the bad things that happened last night. Um, a couple dinners were screwed up that was out of my control. And, you know, I thought I handled it fairly properly as a server. Like, I was pretty confident that it wasn't my fault. So I didn't let it, like, bother me that much. But, of course, this morning I'm running that thought loop through my head. I'm running how I should answer my boss maybe differently. Um, just, like, this a bad tip that I got. And it didn't even matter because I was just getting monster tips everywhere else. I mean, this lady could, could have her tip back like thanks for nothing but you know so then I, I was aware enough to stop that thought loop though before it got too far um so I just want to say always be aware of your thoughts um and that's huge you are not your thoughts and don't suffer more in imagination than in reality don't suffer what you can't control that's what I what I was thinking about had already happened what had happened was out of my control even and I certainly can't control it now so I shut down that thought loop right away. But I thought it was interesting that I was focusing on that on a holiday, on the start of four days off, with a monster night of tips of, of great service. You know, nice night with the boss. Um, and really nothing to complain about. But that's what I was focused on, the negative. So always keep your thoughts in check and don't let those get out of control. Um, also want to say I got the same shirt on as yesterday. I'm a minimalist. Um, so I got that going for me. Uh, what else? One of my New Year's, I don't want to say resolutions because I don't know if I believe in that, but maybe a goal is I want to do one hour of cardio every day and it can be broken up. You know, I'm going to give myself that leeway so far. I've done 40 minutes today. I listed five things for sale. I said I already sold this one. Um... I like to do that while I'm home, you know, with the kids. And that kind of makes me feel like I'm being productive. I, uh, I want to talk about this more in another video, but another thing to think of is when you have time off, are you distracting yourself or are you working still towards your purpose? And, you know, today I felt surely with Notre Dame on in the background and, 
and whatever else, playing with the kids, I was still focused on what I wanted to um, get better at and uh, for my uh, purpose of financial freedom. So I still did a little bit of that. Um, looking forward to tomorrow's yearly report, but I want to go through um, December's without any more further ado, December's uh, Instacart and Side Hustle Income Report. Like I said, I don't really like to give out my waiting table tips, but this is everything outside of waiting tables. Instacart was $1,415. Um, for some reason, in the other previous videos, if you go back and look, I tell you how many hours I worked. I want to say it was 12 to 14 hours, I'm thinking. So that's a pretty good, pretty good amount. It was actually the highest month I had so far this year for Instacart. Product tube, um, zero. Usually I get about at least, I would average $50 on that. Um, sometimes even higher. I got nothing. I think there was a technical glitch and I even uh, asked support about the problem and they said I should be receiving some more tasks in the new year of January. I haven't got one yet today, but I rely on that. Um, so really my my side hustle stuff was not very spread out this year. It was very heavily, or this month, it was very focused on um, Instacart. So receipt hog, I didn't manage to get anything. Lawn mowing and snowing, obviously uh, snow blowing, um, nothing in uh, December, so nothing there. Flipping, I managed to flip profit of $305 in December, just kind of chipping away. Uh, DoorDash, Survey Junkie, um, nothing, nothing. Field Agent is an app I like and usually uh, chip away at if you look at previous reports. I didn't do any this uh, month, strange. Uber Eats, nothing. Grubhub, nothing. Uh, Receipt Pail, nothing. Fetch Rewards is a receipt app where you can take pics of your receipts and you get like Amazon gift cards, 10 bucks. Coin Out is another receipt rewards app, five bucks. Um, I take the receipts I get from shopping for Instacart and I throw them right in those receipt apps and I don't care, I get some money. That's gonna total up to $1,689 outside of my normal job for the month of December. Now, that's pretty good. You know, if you times that times 12, that's that's a good hit right there. Um, certainly more months I've, you know, had much more flipping and had, you know, I could easily see myself having, if this was a summer month, I'd have maybe near 100 in product tube, maybe 100 in mowing. You catch some of those receipt apps, a uh, little bit of field agent. So, I mean, you can really get close to $2,000 extra just side hustling. And again, I'm not a guru. I'm just out here dropping groceries and trying to find stuff to resell and banging around some apps. So really, uh, 1600 who couldn't use extra? Almost $1,700. And uh, it, it was no big deal at all. No big deal at all. So um, I hope that inspires you to get out there, do some side hustling, uh, break free from laziness, break free from anything that's um, holding you back, uh, get after it this new year, start the new year off right. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, my 2021 side hustle and income report year in review. And it's kind of mind boggling to me. Uh, was definitely the best year financially of my life. Um, hopefully, it was just about the best year mentally, I would say. Uh, physically, I need to get a little bit uh, diet going. Hopefully, that cardio will work. And I want to start meal plan planning. So I'm looking forward to that as well as to start um, my debt-free journey, completely debt-free in 2022. And it feels really good, guys, to be completely debt-free. So stick with me. We'll do this together. Break free. I will see you tomorrow.